The last time we spoke about my Yaesu FT818, we put this Windcamp battery in here to extend its life and also decrease the charging time from 10 hours to two hours. Absolutely love that. The one thing I mentioned at the end of that video is that now we can't charge this battery out in the field because this takes 12.6 volts. So our lithium iron phosphate batteries are actually too high of voltage. Well today I'm going to show you with this little Droke buck converter how we can get from our 13.8 or 13.3 volts that our lithium iron phosphate are at, bring the voltage down to something that this uh, battery is going to want to see so we can charge this battery out in the field. Let's hop over on the bench and I'll show you what I mean. All right, let's crack this little guy open. Scalpel, scalpel. All right, so here is the actual buck converter here. We've got a nice screen here, and these are where we're gonna adjust our voltage and our current. So all we need to really do is kind of put this, this is just a little kind of case standoff thing for it. Uh, and then I'm gonna make some little uh, patch cables for our in and out. There's a heat sink that comes with this. That's gonna go right on this chip there. And stick it thusly. Now we can put the cover on. So we've got two different size standoffs. We've got kind of a big one and then one with the threads. This uh, part here we're gonna take, this is the bottom. We wanna make sure we line up with these blue things here, like such, because this is how we're gonna access that. So we're gonna take a screw, put it in, and then we can add these little standoff jobbies there. And you can do this all without the board. All right. Now we want to make sure that that's lined up like so. Then we can flip it over. And these other ones with the threads, we can just go ahead and screw the board in. Then we're going to take this top cover and hopefully those holes go through to our potentiometers potentially, and we're gonna screw these guys in. Not too tight, and that's it. It does come with these little red things. These are actually just to stick in here if you wanna keep stuff out. We got a USB, there's a set and, a, uh, and an enter button. That's for programming, uh, I believe, the screen. And then we have our voltage and our current. So let's uh, wire up some wires. So here we are, made a couple little jumpers. Uh, I put these ferrules on here. I did have to crush them down because these uh, connectors don't open up very wide. Kind of annoying, but eh. Little, little K at MRD, forceful persuasion is never a bad thing. So we can go ahead and insert them, mind the plus and minus symbols that are next to it. And tighten them down. Beautiful. Now, notice this side says in. That's gonna be coming from our power supply, and this side is the output. Don't screw that up. All right, now the whole goal of this is to use this to charge the 818 with the lithium battery inside this wind camp because this charges off at 12.6 volts. So we need a buck converter to bring the voltage down. This will not raise the voltage, that is called a boost converter. All this does is bring voltage down. So we're gonna plug this into one of my battery boxes that's at 13.6 volts right now because I just charged the lithium iron phosphate battery that's inside of it. And notice we say 13.7, this says 13.7, my box says 13.6, close enough. So this uh, potentiometer here is what we're gonna use to adjust the voltage. So I wanna bring that down to, uh, I measured the charger, it actually puts out 12.7 volts. So I'm gonna keep turning this counterclockwise to reduce the voltage and see how now it's starting to go down. And I want, I'm gonna go 12.7.
Now this one here is going to adjust the current. I have no idea what the current is at and I have no idea if the BMS inside the battery adjusts the current at all. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this a bit beforehand. Now I have a lead plugged into this uh, wind camp battery with a power pull on it and we are going to plug it in and see what happens. All right. It's working. This was at 11.5 volts. Let me unplug that. See the voltage there, 11.5. Now we're at 11.7 when we plug that in. That's fantastic. Now can we up the current? This battery is mostly charged, so I don't know how much current it'll take, but let's see if we can put at least two amps in. That's what the charger does. So that's about all it's gonna take right now, 1.3-ish amps because the battery's pretty darn full. But uh, that is awesome. That is proof of concept. That is proof that it works. So we can now, with this tiny little $12 buck converter, hook it up to an external battery out in the field and charge this lithium battery. So that's awesome. Downside, we need a different uh, size plug than what is in here. We could just turn this switch off, turn the radio off, plug in a regular 13 volt battery into here and uh, run it this way. But that is a great way to charge this out in the field. And look, the radio's off and we're still putting in a little over an amp into the battery. So that's awesome. We can turn it on. It'll go up a little bit because we're obviously using some of that power now. Now we're already at 11.9 volts. So that is awesome. It works. Now I can tuck away everything into this bag that I keep my 818 in. Radio goes back here in this pouch. This front pouch, I keep all the power stuff in. I've got a battery in here and I have the regular power cord for the 818, which I also can use to charge my uh, FT5. So now I'm simply going to add to this the cord for the wind camp and the buck converter, and we are good to go.